explorers hi welcome and welcome back if this is new this is M this is the mystic maze and we are about to make um, a general reading of the tribe energies and if you are an oldish explorer so I feel like you are more connected to me and if you're part of the tribe an extra thank you for your energies welcome back dear soul I was eager to see you and this is my pleasure to be here to make this reading of the energies for today so I've been preparing three piles for today that are represented by some you know images and those images for you to pick connected with your intuition will respond to the question to the answer what do people perceive of your personality and what they do like and clearly see of you that you don't so there is a two ambivalent situation so there are many things that you maybe do perceive of yourself and you acknowledge but some others you don't see you still don't see and we are here for that to respond to that question answer do that um, question okay so i show you the options for you to connect we have maze number one this is for maze and pile number two your soul and then we have maze and pile number three for you to pick and whenever you have decided which option to go you can click in the box and you can start your adventure with me in your maze. I see you in your maze. Bye. Pile one, let's see together. Wow, this is your choice. Very beautiful, I would say. Very colorful. Tea time. It's tea time with you. So I feel like people do perceive how colorful you can be. But let's see together. This is a very social event. A choice for me the vibe that I get let's see with some cards together so I will be using four different uh, oracle cards so let's start to see and then final card three cards from the tarot so for pile and maze number one how are you perceived what is your personality okay we have two we'll keep them we have hope and we have power so with hope we do have lady of the night so i'm feeling like you're very joyful you're very full of up, full of trust full of many ingredients you know also in your tea in your infusions i feel like you're very you're spreading your energies and sharing them with other people maybe you underestimate that kind of visual uh, of yourself that vision you know you you could not as usual we're not very able to see perfectly our, um ourself but usually it's much more easier to for us to grab the energies of other people as we are very unconscious sometimes but i feel like with this card you are so full of love full of hope very good thoughts that are spreading around you and in your heads too and i feel like you can be very connected with other people and support them support them for the best it's, it's like a positive vibe that i get in here offers that you make to others support okay also with this card we have the queen of the night so power is like you are more powerful than what you think they are piled and one and maze explorer i'm feeling like with this power is like a card of empowering so it's like a path maybe and i'm picking that other people do understand your energies better than you and i feel like the thing that you don't see is that you are still that you already are and still are powerful in many ways so throughout compassion throughout love so the high vibration that you give to others maybe you don't perceive of yourself but is the in this case it's like you're very centered you're very you know when we have many needs and you understand your needs that's the, the meaning of it let's see other cards together wow pile one maze explorer oh, I got this. we have inner child yes yes for sure i'm feeling like to be in power and to be full of hope and joy and love and compassion you have to be very connected with your inner child do you see how colorful and some colors are recalling the image that you just picked so it's like you have a very 
lively interior life. So the things that you desire, the things that you want, the, the, the needs that you have are so active and proactive. It's like you are not boring. You're not a not boring personality. So people do perceive that you're so lively doing things, okay? And in this way, you're super active, super connected with dreams, super connected with the childish desires that are for the best. So uh, as long as you remember who you were, who you are, and there is a connection between the two of them, okay? So you are united, very profoundly connected with the self, very strong energies. Last card for you. Oh, sorry, no, it's not the last. Release your creative energies, make, us, make use of them in your life. Wow. Okay, so this point for me, pile number one, is particularly speaking of your creative side. Very connected with this inner child, this hope, this power. I'm feeling like you are super powerful when you are free. When you free yourself, when you set yourself free, when your mind is going in many other places that are invisible for other people and they do perceive that you have this super intense energy of creation, okay? This is a card of creation and also release your creative power, energy, okay? You are powerful in the most beautiful way. Remember? Uh, also other cards I mean I feel like yellowish so the chakra of the art of the throat yellow green that's you so strong and powerful and ready to get some action let's end one last oracle card pile one okay so this is a tent this is the most beautiful place where you can connect back with yourself, where you can find your colors, where you can find your energy into nature. So this is an introvert card. So I'm feeling like maybe sometimes you, you find very uneasy to express yourself, to express the innerish side, but I'm feeling like this is a reflection time before releasing yourself, before releasing your power, okay? before releasing your hope to the world that you are spreading. Very powerful pile number one. And I want to see final three cards. This one was calling. We have the High Priestess. Again, this card is speaking so loud about the intuition that you have, the unseen that you see and that other people do not perceive. So it's like you're super special. You have many gifts inside. Intuition is one of them. And maybe you're not still focusing yourself on developing that side and freeing that side, you know, to let free that side of yours. This one was calling and also this one. We have the Four of Wands and then we have the Hanged Man. Again, there is something connected with intuition, okay? So the Hanged Man is inactivity and to is like to put on hold some kind of um, thoughts, some kind of intuitions and to concentrate better, to eliminate the liquids that do not serve your cause and to create an upside down, you know, uh, there is a sort of compass inversion of it a reverse a reverse of mindset so i'm feeling like you're taking your time to listen better to your intuition and that's the 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 final word and also with this four of wands you want stability family marriage so i feel like you want to share with social events it is also a card of victory and also a card for sharing very good events good things with other people very beautiful Intuition is like in creation, creativity, hope, power, inner child. So many, many, very rich personality, pile one and dear explorer. I hope that you enjoy it and you have your, you know, clarifications regarding your personality. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye. Hello, pile two. We have a guitar. Okay, I hope you see it. A guitar, very funny, very loud, very of fists. So I don't know what about you. This is also very delicate, 
with many you know details on it i'm very eager to see it's like we're having a party together we are singing together very a lot of heat that is coming from it let's see together dear maze explorer and welcome to your reading so let's see together first at all some cards oracle cards intuition cards to describe the type of personality that is perceived outside you know that other people see and then maybe you don't okay we have a fan fantastic this fan is of femininity and also extra power this is like potent vibration the femininity the pink side that you have also the colors are masculine and feminine so i feel like you're perfectly balancing together the two qualities that you have at least this could be what people perceive and i feel like you also keep very secretive the things for yourself as even though the notes are fluent outside in here there is a key so you're locking something for yourself and that's the first card let's see together the cards the earth pile and maze number two what about your personality wow awaken the magic of your creativity immerse yourself in the world of feelings very beautiful is like the intensity you're such an intense personality is like you can create things and you can awake the magic is like for me i'm i know i'm obsessed with taylor swift but I feel like as a narrator, as a storyteller, this is a great example. Of, I mean, nowadays, I mean, it's the current, current situation, the current panorama. We do have her to inspire us to be, to create a magic touch of a narration. And I feel like with this beautiful guitar, I don't know if you love music, if you are connected with something, if you're a singer, a writer, something like poetry, poems, words, sounds, that you create maybe it's just a hobby maybe for some of you you didn't think that that could make the difference in life for you and for other people but i'm feeling like with this magic that you're creating and that you are awakening for sure is helping you to express the inner energies and also to create some sort of embrace for other people to vibrate together with the magic of you know emotions deep emotions wow this is so beautiful and you see she's so in love with the sensation in love with the sensation okay you're so let's see other cards you wow too many but this is jumped jumped oh very intriguing this is the rite of passage you are understanding yourself other people do perceive that you are on the right track on the right path I'm feeling like you still don't see that this is the best quality ever, the quality of transforming yourself, of upgrading yourself. The energies are getting higher. There is a brand new stream of consciousness, of energies, a lot of potential. And through music, through the notes, you could immerse yourself into this world, into this diving. It's like swimming into the ocean. Even though you are afraid, do not be because transformation is part of our life. And if you embrace that process, it's like you will find, you see, this lion or this is like a cheetah. I don't know, but it's like opening the mouth to express, to be alive you know to say something she has something to say he has something to say to you and he's like representing the third eye so knowledge consciousness very mystical deepness in here one last card about the things that you don't see of yourself dear pile number two intimacy evening star so i'm feeling like a lot of romantic romantic vibe in here so this is like for me intimacy is like super beautiful and related to emotions is like you can dive deeper dig deeper and by you know yes diving into the swimming pool but it can be also the ocean it could be a sea it could be a lake you decide which way to go and i'm feeling like this is going to bring you a lot of success and a lot of satisfaction with yourself because this is the way you can really be you and play and play 
So it's up to you if you want to share those best qualities that you have with other people, but it sounds like that to me. So last three card for you, dear explorer. Okay. From the tarots. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Word. And we have the Three of Cups. So for sure, some kind of celebration in here. I hope you see in this, this new setting. So a lot of celebrating time. So with friendships, it's like you're very full of joy of mes joies de vivre okay you want to live with your friends you want to involve people share them with cups around the fire this is so beautiful maybe on a, um on the sand you know and it's like super beautiful also with the word card is like you're ending a cycle again transformation so embrace your rights of um the rituals you know of passage the rituals of passage embrace them because it's high time for you to transform to let go of things that you don't need and then we have the knight of pentacles so very pragmatical very taking care of the house very full of friend gardening as well this um, night is full of ideas very pragmatical so i feel like the way you maybe you're buying some new instruments very new house or maybe you are fixing the things that didn't work in your house. So maybe a little of relooking that you're making, restyling with, the, you know, and the soundtrack, it could be you playing the guitar or other instruments. So, but I'm feeling like the chords of your heart are melting right now. And if you let them melt, there is something very bigger and better, you know, just around the corner because it's already new. So... This was the final guitar, so thank you very much for staying with me. I hope that you enjoyed and take the things that were resonating with you. So thank you for watching again, and I hope to see you very, very soon, my dear soul. See you. Pile tree, pile tree. Hello, welcome to your maze. That's the card you just picked. We have, we do have balloons. I'm really in love with balloons, even though I'm afraid that they can burst into my hair as I was very and you know a child and that athlete was so scared to death but it doesn't matter if you are attracted to that intuitively this is a good omen it's like social uh, energies around gathering trees of friendship so maybe one of your qualities is really related to grouping and collecting other people and energies around you let's see together and also very colorful a lot of variety in the things that you do let's see together and a lot of fun for sure that's the the, the energies that are coming to me okay so let's see some energies um with the oracle cards so what do other people perceive of you pile three that other i mean see and you don't okay too many too many wait <laughs> too many yeah it means that you're very rich by the way or confused you know are two it's okay okay wow divine getaway and trust so lovely so the right match for those colors you see you see very bluish and and pinkish you know it's like masculine and feminine i i i'm sorry if i do associate blue or light blue to masculine and pinkish to feminine it's not my real intention but it's more traditional traditional representation you know un more universal but i'm feeling like in here such a rich personality with this divine getaway is like you have access to something else more mystical more deep deeper than life deeper than you larger than you okay so i'm feeling like the portal that you are opening with this beautiful characteristic that you have in your personality is like unlocking mysteries and locking the unknown so you're not afraid to jump is like the full card for me this one and also trust is like you love other people you love them you share the love and the compassion that you have with them and for them so i'm really picking that you could be very connecting and vibing with other people and trust is a card beautiful card that is speaking of you 
putting yourself at disposal to others to create a bond, a deep connection with others. So really based on love, trust, compassion, understanding is like you are re really able to create a bridge between you and other people. And this is very sociable skill, a social skill that you have. But this is also very beautiful because you understand the, you know, when we are too complex, you know, other people do have very complex toad personality as well. And you are there to and ready to understand that side of them, to embrace it. And this is like so good. I feel like you're very super empowered and, and a good person, a good person full of, I mean, charity, social work as well. This is so beautiful. And you help them to come through your portal to the divine getaway. Focus, tuberose, wow. Very focused, very conscious, very, you know, you know <laughs> what to do in life. I'm feeling like this is a lot of determination and concentration and the things you do are very successful for that. Even though you may sound or, or seem very light, light, shallow, superficial, you know, too um, playful in life. I'm feeling like there is a lot of, to, to get this vibe here, there is a lot of substance, you know, there is a lot of foundation, you know, of your building of internally, mystically speaking. So to be as light as a balloon, as light as a, as a butterfly, there is a lot of work and you've been making that work, digging deep. The more you dig, the more you know and a knowledge of yourself, the more you are conscious and the more you can fly away and free yourself and also free other people as well. It's like your helper. I don't know. I get the, the vibe that you, with your own focus and being so entangled with your energies in a good sense, it's like you have the capacity to help other people out. But let's see. Wow, well, three cards. Well, three are very many, many. This one is to take, uh, let me see if, understand if they want me to take also the energies. Yeah, the three of them. Wow. <laughs> so flames of desire, it is let them shine out in the radiant light and shun dark paths. So it's like you need to free yourself more and more and becoming lighter and lighter and brighter and brighter. This is a very funny card. It's desire. So embrace also. I feel like you can be also very concentrated and focused on deep things and darkish things with the divine getaway, with trust card. And I'm really picking that sometimes for you just to be fun and to have fun and share that, that moment with other people could be the perfect solution to you know, discover more about yourself. This is so beautiful, so passionate, so passionate. Then we have the love of the dragon reaches out to you. The realm of your truth is opening up. So yes, again, you are freeing something. You are trusting the unknown and the unseen. You're very focused on deep things, on this getaway, is a shifting in the energies. People do perceive the powerful energies that you are in, my dear soul. And in the moment, you will be able to embrace that and that to understand that there's something trying to reach you for a higher purpose. I'm feeling like this could be perfect, the perfect time for you to, you know, make an upgrade, to upgrade yourself, okay? Last card, release your inner rebel. Be yourself and create your own universe. I feel like you need to be rebellious. You need to play more, to be more playful. Okay, we are focused. We can be very, you know, determined in life. I am too. But if you let go and forget, you know, the funny, the funniest part of life, you're losing something. And I don't know about your age, but the, there is no time, it's timeless. Be funny, have fun is like timeless. So please embrace, that's the message in here. People do perceive that you need to relax, you need to enjoy life, you need to 
be more playful, okay? And to believe more in that also things that are lighter can bring you a deep sense on things as well, you know, such as a smile, such as many, many things. So one last card, this one was just mm, 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 this, okay? So be more connected with your dream world. Do not be afraid to, to dream big. I mean, I'm feeling like this is also a card very connecting with the inner child, with the divine getaway. So feel free to be reconnecting with yourself and the desires that you have and the needs when you were a baby. Okay, so feel free to play and to re-narrate your story, to live it, okay? So last cards for you, dear soul. With the towers, many. I'm feeling like somebody is speaking loud today. You have a lot of charges, you know, sometimes. I'm feeling like you have a lot of charges. So free yourself. We have the Queen of Pentacles, for sure, supportive, for sure, speaking about rituals, taking care of the house, taking care of many, you know, things with friends, you know, um, having dinner, having a party, taking care of the garden. And this is like food, food and drink, drink and food. This is so beautiful. Maybe you should have most, more feasts and parties. Let's have a party. Okay, Padre. Relax yourself. And also those two cards, this is like the six of cups when you are shown as nostalgic. This is a nostalgia card. So please be more connected with your childish energies as some solutions and some hints for your new transformation are right there. If you look backwards, sometimes in our route, the best you know things that are resonating with us are just there. That's they are already there, okay? Somewhere deep, deeply, you know, hidden, but are there. So feel free to, to feel and to be childish in order to release your powerful energies, mystically speaking, okay, part three. Last but not least, we have the eight of swords, so a lot of confusion and the mental barrier that you create for yourself. So this is a mental wall, but it's just in your head. So I, I feel like you need to relax a little bit, part three, and to be more connected with who you truly are, with your intuition, into your dreams, and also with childish energies, you know? Because you're taking care of everyone, I'm feeling like, very extra focused. I don't know the kind of responsibilities that you have on your shoulder, but it's time to let go of something, okay? Let go and have fun <laughs> and dream big, dream, dream intensely. Okay, so pile three, this is everything. I hope that you enjoyed and find some clarity and hints for your mystical path. Thank you for watching and stay with me. I hope to see you super, super soon.